guy we met at the supermarket did say specifically cars get gobbled up on the border track. <laughs> Look where we've made it to. We are gonna go full driving. We're at the border track, which is the border of South Australia and Victoria. Look at this. See this? There's trucks. And there's a sign that says, welcome to South Australia. I think that one there says Victoria. I'll see if I get this one to honk, ready? Yeah. <laughs> How good was that? <laughs> that was so ridiculous. So we're with our friends Maddie and Jackson, they're coming along. Apparently you should have two sorry, caravan. Apparently you caravaners. Caravaners. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Bloody caravaners. Oh. Uh, apparently you should have at least two cars when you do this track because it's a bit tricky. So we're gonna head from Paringa south and uh, do the track. Yeah, have a good time. Excited to live out of our canopy. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be great. Be great. Time to let the tyres down. Look, we actually got some new, well, semi-new rear tyres. Because I know a few of you said that I needed some and uh, they're actually the tyres off the van, to be honest. So I'm going to use these iCheck TPMS tyre deflators because I think they're the best. And if you want to get them cheap, use this code here. Probably going to go down to about 25 in the rear and might go 20 in the front and we'll just let it down from there if we want to go any further. Have you had these? I got addicted to these for a little while and then I saw that they had a big share bag. You're I got gonna, them. You're not going to share it though, are you? It's very rude. But no, I'm not going to share it. Alrighty, time to go. Maddie and Jackson are here. I'm sure you guys maybe remember them from this episode in Cairns. We're on the other side of the, the planet and they followed us here. <laughs> we actually followed them here. Yeah. yeah, we did. Because <laughs> they're from South Australia. I think you already said that. We're in Victoria right now though. True. Well, they actually did follow us here. So then. let's get onto this track and give it a whirl. I've heard that there's car swallowing bog holes on we this track. We are, because we just went to the supermarket and the most beautiful subscribers just came up and I was really flustered because I was worried about the chicken in the sun. And so I hope that they didn't think that I was rude. And so I apologize if I came across rude. I, I'll, I was just frazzled with the chicken. <laughs> I'm pretty certain his name was Scott. Yeah, that's right. They were lovely. They were beautiful A lovely people. couple, yeah. Look at this, it's like tumbleweed. Like I feel like we're pulling in and it's like half of us is missing. So weird. Good morning all. It's a uh, another beautiful day in the desert. I actually woke up this morning and it was so wonderful, but now it's just turned to clouds, which is a bit of a shame. But that won't dampen our spirits. Maybe it might rain and turn this track into a Big muddy mess. I know you guys would like that. Look how clean my car is. Super excited to spend the day on the track. This morning we're trying to figure out whether the straighteners work. It's my straighteners broken, so. Somehow my shitty one is actually working still. <laughs> well, don't buy a GHD, you reckon? No, don't have a GHD that's 15 years old. <laughs> like mine is. That's the problem. Well, luckily. But yeah, it's definitely broken. 
Lucky it's the straightener and not the battery system. I never had any, I never had lost faith in the battery system. But yeah, this is definitely. All right. Look, she's gonna need a new straightener, Jake. No, we're not getting a new straightener. Well, uh, once right. you get that done, then we can get on the road. Oh, I've got to tie the shovel up. Gosh, it feels good to be back on the road, doesn't it? It feels good to be back off the road, Off I think. the road. Um, we were just talking about, because obviously this is the border track, so it literally goes down the border of WA, and um, I mean of Victoria and South Australia. And we're driving along, and if you know anything about South Australia, you'll know that there's so much farmland. So just over here, on that side of the fence is South Australia, and then on this side of the fence is Victoria. And it's just like, farm, bush. these you know what last time we we're in South Australia we asked you guys on a video what these were no one said yes they did did they they said patty melon patty melon but patty melon is like a small kangaroo that is true what? yep yeah, we're well, June we're June climbing in the middle of Australia who would have thought we're, we're pretty close to the coast don't roll the melons watch out Mads <laughs> It's Tunnel Ball. Oh, Tunnel Ball. That was, that was probably one of my favorite games at school, I think. The flies are here as well, and all the melons. Yeah, this is where I left them. The last melon. The last melon. Okay, shop put, eh? Impressive. So I've got a shot, put it straight from the chest. No, yeah. it's not from the chest. If you do it from your neck and you stand side on. Oh, and you put, yep, put your feet further apart. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna this go down turned the hill. into the Olympics. It is. <laughs> I reckon we got this one to be honest. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe this one's easier. Tricky? Yeah. You have to come this around. This one's hard. Oh, the sand. Rock hard. We'll go up, I have to go up both. Get dusted, Mads. Damn. 
very, very close. <laughs> Look at that! That was great, mate. Well done. Good? High five for that. <laughs> Absolutely loves it. <laughs> Oh well, let's get the tow bar going, eh? Hey? Use our new recovery bar. We're here! Oof. Let's do this. It's always the first time. Yeah. Always the first time. Yeah, we've got a brand new um, rear bar, um, tow bar, so oh. yeah, we're excited. Slow down, slow down. Oh my god. Is it using this like tag bar, not having to take the hitch out? Yeah, it's so good. Love it. Just that one, that, like just where you got stuck back there, oh, was just because. Was yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, and I, I just stopped. And the tires and I, make such a difference. And I dug it out and stuff. You, that was like just, just drove up a hill. Like, it was fine. Oh, <laughs> your eggs! I was stressing about you before, but like now I'm like now I just now I actually got to watch you come up. You can, yeah, <laughs> you're fine. That is a garden full of cactus. It's cacti, I think they call it. That's crazy. No, they're cat. Oh my god, they oh are the god. biggest cats I've ever seen. What just went in front of me? They're cats. Oh, they can't hear me. They're cats. So huge. So we yeah. just was... have come through like this little detour track because the border track actually like stops and then it reconnects. Jackson's just on the hunt for a snake, um, which is going really well. <laughs> However, look at this. Three four burnt out cars and just cactuses. They're not burnt out. Oh they're not burnt, they're just rusty. Look at this. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? Like what? That's insane. I know this is probably like private property or whatever, but I'm not stealing. I'm just looking. But have you ever seen like a cactus garden? Like this? This is crazy. Look at that old fridge. Imagine jumping in there. Oh, that's a beehive. Just right in front of you. What is it? Bees can tell if you're stressed and then they sting you. Whoa, look at them. I'm feeling very relaxed. So I feel like I'm... <laughs> Have they got any honey for me? Oh, there's heaps. Yeah, just under here. Oh, oh, and on the... Wow. Be cool to pull that board up, there'd be some honey in there. Oh, they'd be all in there, wouldn't they? Mm. Not in the mood for a bee sting today. Can you guys remember the time when Jacob actually did get stung by a bee and it was the most traumatic thing anybody on the internet had ever seen in their lives? hill climb that's come out of nowhere that has look at the tumbleweeds on the side there oh the, the tumbleweed is blocking is, that track that's tumbleweed hill damn this one might be an engaged full drive one jacko Wheel 
flip there. A little bit of wheel action. You've been wheeling and dealing. Straight up. Do you want to just leave it there or do you want to go again? Go again. There you go, this one, yeah. Yeah, he's the man. Don't doubt him. Look at this view. Stunners. Hungry Jack Stunner Meal. Best meal out there, hands down. Easy. Go. See that cheeky little smirk, man. Soft. Is it soft? <laughs> I reckon we head into Pinaru and do a quick hose off. I think we might have to. <laughs> yeah, probably going to have to, yeah. Morning, guys. How are we going? This morning we woke up and just got everything ready. I didn't film anything, sorry. But Lil had to go for a run, so her, Jackson and Maddie have just gone for like a one-hour run. So they'll probably do 10K or something, maybe 12. But we've just got to the part where the border track crosses through the big desert national park. Now the problem with this track I've found is that there's no information on it. There's a heap of blog posts and articles that people have written about when they've done it and they've just told a story about them doing the track. There's no actual map that says you can go from here to here. I've been searching for days and I can't find it so to be honest I'm actually thinking about like putting something up and making something so that you guys can follow this exact route again. It's been horrendous trying to find this. Anyway, getting to the point where I saw a couple of things online saying that the track was closed through the top half of Big Desert National Park. We've got to, the, we've got to this section and there is a sign that says the track is closed. We've pulled up to this sign. So, it's very annoying. It's, it's New Year's Eve, I can't call parks and see like what the go is. Our office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday, excluding public holidays. I've got the HEMA book out here, so we're having a look. I don't know if you guys can actually see this. Hang on, I'll just swap to a better camera. Actually see this. So we are right here at Pinaroo, and this section of the track from here to here seems to be closed, which is just a really big pain. So we're actually heading over here to Robe for a few days from like the 2nd to the 4th of January. I tell you what, there needs to be some sort of app. I know obviously HEMA has a map and I'm on the HEMA book and stuff, but I mean, I own a HEMA and it's, I don't know, it's just not very, it's not very user friendly. I just don't use it. I just wish there was like some sort of like four wheel drive app that had all the trails on it and everything that said like this is open in these days and you know it's closed now and this is a track that you should take and also where you can log your own trips and then other then other users can follow your trips i just think that would be a really good idea there you go app makers there's a hole in the market Yeah. 
start of the border track. Closed, obviously. So we're gonna try and skirt around the outside. It actually looks like people have definitely done it. It's supposed to have been closed for probably like a month now, but I'd say these tire tracks are pretty fresh after that dilemma. Uh, well, we didn't tell him. No, we didn't, no, but we just had a quick dilemma and now we're back. <laughs> a short ad break. Uh, we have just pulled up to the centre track and just spotted out of the corner of my little eye. The coolest sandy. This. In the middle of nowhere. Don't come for me because I have a plastic water bottle. It's uh. because I left my water bottle somewhere and then I didn't have a water bottle. So, I'm sorry. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be fun. We should have brought something, something to go down. I don't have anything though. Could have taken the surfboard. We should have the drone. Yes, damn. Feel like it looks like we're at the beach and then we're not. Oh, there's a dam! Oh, what? That's so funny, I can see that. It's quite hard this is radical. Tell me, Jackson, is it like the Sahara over the other side? Oh, yeah, it's, it keeps going. It's just grass. It's cool though. So we've just started the uh, centre track now, which runs parallel with the border track because the border track was obviously closed. Hopefully we can just head south and then just cut east and then meet back up with the bottom of the border track so we can finish it. But it's been so enjoyable that I think that we've decided that at one point we're gonna come back and finish the bit that was closed. It's just great, like, it's just a beautiful track. Hopefully we can tow something along it as well. Hey? What's your assessment of the hole? I reckon the hole is a big hole. That's my assessment. <laughs> it's a big hole, it's a big bogging. Could occur. So yeah, the guy we met at the supermarket did say specifically cars get gobbled up on the border track. So gobble gobble. Oh my god, it's so deep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pre-collision assist. <laughs> we hit the trailer. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so are we still in the water? Or no, we're no, way out. Alrighty, now first test as well. See what happened with these. <laughs> dry oh, as a dry. bone. Look at that. <laughs> dry oh, as a bone. I wonder about the draw down the back though. Oh, I reckon it'll be dry. Look at that tow bar. Perfect. Well, we did need a wash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we needed a little wash. So that's perfect. Uh, yeah, I will, yeah. You did well to keep pushing. Yep, gone. The door seals are working. Look at that. You can see the water line. Oh, well. we're dry. <laughs> so we just pulled up, decided to camp on the side of the track here. That little gate up there is the other side of the border track where we couldn't get through this morning. So luckily we come down through that center track. You know, it was fun, a few sand dunes. So it is New Year's Eve. And I think we're just gonna have a nice time, hang out with friends and just enjoy being out here in the desert. 
the uh, they do call it Big Desert National Park, which is actually super funny because on the other side of this fence here, that's Big Desert National Park. So there you go, little tip for you. This has been one of the best trips we've done around Australia for sure. So good. Put this one on your list.